welcome back to my channel today i'm back with a brand new video by the title you guys can tell that i'm going to be doing a six month lock extension update i'm super excited to do this update because that means i have my locks for half a year y'all and i can already see all the growth all the pros all the cons and i'm here to tell you guys all of this information in this video if you are new to my channel though don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe because i am going to have more updates as well as check out the description box below because i'm going to have timestamps for each portion of this video so you can skip to the parts that you want to watch and not have to watch the parts that you don't want to watch but let's get right into this video and let me start spilling the facts the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and talk about is just some background knowledge I want you guys to have before getting lock extensions. Um, more specifically, um, the hardest thing was figuring out who I wanted to do my lock extensions with and how would I pick the right loctician. The first thing that I did was go on Instagram, Twitter, all the social media, just looking through hashtags, trying to find people who could do hair. A lot of people had really good initial installations, but what really sold me on my loctician was the fact that she posted up updates on her lock extensions for example she would post people who had their lock extensions like a year ago she would post how they had looked um today so that's one thing that i find very important because that shows that one she's able to keep clients two the results are good later on down the line and three she probably has a good vibe because nobody's gonna want to come around you if you don't have a good vibe the next thing that i would recommend you know is when you do do your consultation with your loctician ask how many bundles come with the quoted price for me i did not know that my quoted price came with only 75 bundles i mean 75 lots but in my case the lady was really nice because I needed 81 because I have a big head but I needed 81 locks she just threw in the extra six locks for free but you know everybody is different some people might not be as nice as my loctician was so that's something that I would recommend you check out another thing that I would recommend you guys go ahead and do is when you do have your consultation make sure that you ask as many questions as possible because you're essentially going to be giving them almost a rent check for your hair so you need to make sure that the money you're putting into this is worth it so i asked my loctician like you know how do you part the hair how do you make sure that the locks the locks aren't too heavy for my natural hair and what about slippage and all of that she was very honest she told me that she assesses the hair to see how strong the hair is how much hair how much your natural hair can hold um with the lock extension and that's how she does it so i felt very comfortable when she told me that um, as well as she told me slippage is normal, especially in people who have a looser curl pattern. But from my experience, y'all, I have not had not one out of my 81 locks slip in six months. Now that's saying something like her work is good. Another thing that I would recommend you ask is just ask what comes with the initial price. So um, I addressed this in my initial installation video. I paid $8.95 for my lock extensions. I caught that on sale. so. I don't think you guys will ever find like this length lock extensions um, and this size for like $8.95 um, from the lady that I went to. But the price included her um, doing a maintenance down the line. So the next time that I go to her, which will be in a week actually, my $8.95 was included with a free maintenance. The only thing that I have to pay for is a styling. And of course I'm gonna get my hair styled because you know, I'm gonna be 21, I'm trying to look cute or whatever. The next thing that I'm gonna get into is the pros and cons. I'm gonna start off with the pros because I have a lot of good stuff to say about my lock extensions. The first thing I'm gonna say is it is super easy to style my hair. When I had my loose natural hair, it was kind of hard because you know, you gotta use gel, slick everything back, then do your baby hairs and all that. But with locks, literally, I wake up and you know, I could just leave my hair down, like how I got it today. I could put it in a ponytail, I could do a half up, half down, I could do a low bun, like the styles are infinite you could do flexi rods on your locks you could do perm rods on your locks another thing that is a pro is the wash days are extremely quick when i had my loose natural hair my wash day would take the whole entire day now my wash day probably takes 30 minutes at that i scrub my hair twice shampoo it um with my uh, shampoo brush rinse it and then of course the retwist that's another thing 
another pro is the cost of lock extensions. I know that initially when you get lock extensions, they can run around $800 to $1,000 or even more because some people do get like um, micro lock extensions or it depends on your length as well. Like the longer you go and the smaller you go, the more money it's going to cost because it just takes longer to do the whole entire process. But um, when you think about it, it's really cheap because if you learn how to retwist your own hair, you're saving money every month. You can do your own retwist. You can do your own style. In the long run, it is cheaper to just, you know, have lock extensions, even though it might cost a lot up front. Down the line, you'll start seeing the results. Personally, for me, I probably would have already spent like $800 on my hair within six months, especially with me getting box braids or, you know, faux locks are like $200 now or you get a wig then you have to pay for installation like all of these things add up so i probably would have hit the 800 mark already um if i did not have lock extension another thing is with my lock extensions it actually helps me understand my own natural hair if you guys probably watch my old videos you'll notice that i did have every single protective style that you could think of and i was not really protecting my hair i just didn't want to deal with my hair because i didn't know how to do my hair i didn't know what styles work for my hair what products work for my hair what kind of porosity my hair was like i didn't know anything about my hair so me having lock extensions and having my hair on my face every single day kind of forces me me to actually understand and see what products work for me and just do what's best for my natural hair now we are going to get into the cons the bad things of lock extensions the first thing that i'm going to say is finding a loctician is hard i found my loctician through instagram and she's really great but the only problem is she be booked up that's a blessing and a curse at the same time it's a blessing because if she's booked up all the time that means she's good it's a curse because she's good that means i want to get my hair done by somebody who's good con number two is that i've experienced some frizzy with my lock extensions I'm gonna show you guys right quick I'm gonna show you guys right here you guys might not really be able to tell I also insert a picture on the screen so you guys can see um so my real hair probably stops right about here on my lock extensions and if I pull out the lock extensions you can see a lot of frizz and I can tell that that frizz is from my natural hair kind of just coming out of the lock extension mind you the lock extension is secured really well to my hair but of course my hair is trying to just grow out of the lock extension so that's definitely going to be addressed and handled in my um that's going to be handled in my next appointment in a week she's going to go ahead and retighten my locks go ahead and put those hairs that try to come out of the lock extension back into it and yeah when i originally got my locks installed i was like oh like this is going to be bomb my retwists are going to last no your retwists are not going to last unless you do a style with them or i don't know you master how to retwist your hair i don't know but from what i've learned these past six months is I did a retwist one time and I did no style. I just retwisted it and left my hair straight. My hair lasted maybe maybe two weeks. So what I've been doing lately is every time I retwist my hair, I put my hair in two strand twists. So that's one style. And then probably after like two weeks, I unravel the two strand twist. And then now my hair is curly. That's another style. And it also helps the root stay flattened and helps the root kind of stay as neat as possible. The last thing that I'm going to say is a con about lock extensions is I've actually seen a lot of people online just talk neg negatively about lock extensions because they feel like it's not a true journey or we cheated the way to having lock extensions. Yes, I cheated the lock journey by having lock extensions. Yes, and you probably would have done the same if you had the chance and the money. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but it just feels like crazy because so, much, so many people have so many like negative things to say about lock extensions, but it's just like nothing is wrong with it i like it my hair is growing it looks real like nobody every time people compliment me and tell me like your hair looks so nice i tell them it's lock extensions and they're like what like what is that and i sit down and you know put them on game because like this is a new style that's coming out and if somebody wants to get it they should feel comfortable with getting it without people being criti critiques and judges and all that so when I wake up every day, I spritz my hair with water. Water is probably the most underrated moisturizer that you could use. A lot of people feel like they have to use heavy products like thick conditioners to go ahead and moisturize their hair. But with locks, less is better. So I literally just use water on my hair, spritz my roots all the way down to the bottom of the lock, as well as oil my scalp 
every couple days. I only oil it so frequently because I do have a dry scalp. If you don't, you probably could get away with once a week or once every week and a half. But me, I have to keep my scalp lubricated about every couple days. The next thing that I do is I wash my hair whenever my hair is telling me that it needs to be washed. Like, I'm not the type of person who's on a schedule. Like, no, I'm not going to wash my hair until it hits four weeks or three weeks. No, if my hair is like itchy, I'm going in the bathroom immediately and I'm washing it. But that does not mean I'm going to retwist my hair because there's been times where I've had to wash my hair about like two weeks in between my last wash. So that doesn't mean that I have to retwist it um, just because I don't want any breakage or any thinning in my locks. But I do retwist my hair every four to five weeks. So whenever that four to five weeks falls, then that's when I'll retwist my hair. I might look a little rough without a retwist, but it's for the greater good. And I paid a lot of money for these lock extensions. So I'm making sure I'm doing everything by the book and making sure that I don't have any regrets down the line. The next thing that I'm gonna say that helps my locks a lot, um, just reducing frizz, is honestly wearing a do-rag or a satin scarf to bed every night. So wearing those two things to bed every night helps reduce the frizz because one, when you're sleeping, you know, you're rubbing your hair back and forth on the pillow, that's gonna cause, you know, your hair to frizz up. And of course, this is your natural hair. Your natural hair doesn't really have anything holding it back. It's gonna do what it wants to do. So if you want your retwist to last as much as possible, you want your, you know, your um, locks to look as fresh as possible, definitely would recommend using those two items. The last thing that I'm gonna talk about is just some plans that I have in the future for my lock extensions. I did um, wanna try interlocking. I'm not really sure about it because you know, palm rolling has been working for me as you guys can see. No problems and no complaints. The only thing that I wanna try interlocking for is just I know that it'll last a lot longer. If I do decide to wash my hair in between maintenances, then I'll be able to still have a fresh kind of look. Another thing is, um, yeah, my roots would just stay more fresh than if I was to do palm rolling, then if I get into like a, a humid area or it's raining outside, it's going to unravel, you feel me? So that's one thing that I want to try. I also want to try and color my hair. This is going to be the first time I ever color my hair in my life. So I'm making sure that I'm doing research. I'm figuring out if it's even worth it. I don't plan on coloring my whole entire head, but I do want some highlights in my hair, probably like a couple blonde and brown, you feel me? It's getting hot outside, your girl gotta look cute. I definitely wanna try as many styles as possible. I'm gonna try to put some pictures on the screen for you guys, if possible. But that's basically all I have to say for this lock extension update. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to DM me on Instagram. You can ask anybody, like I literally will respond and keep it a bean with you, I'm not a liar. I'm not better than anybody. Like, I'm gonna respond to you. If I don't respond, I honestly have not seen it, but I will respond. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next few videos and subscribe to my channel.